I'm I'm waiting for the illustrious, <laughs> the luxurious, the multitasking Wayne Dushno the second. Thank you, Dallas. The, the two, the two. And I gotta go. Actually, I gotta. Is it up and running on Facebook now? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Let me. I'm gonna pull it up here so I can share it out. You gotta go to my my personal page though. So what? What, is it, what do you mean? What are you What are you talking about? I know, right? So it's it's on your feed, not Native Governance. Evidently, yeah. I thought I had the setting right, but I think if to fix it, I'll have to. I'd have to shut down the feed and start over. I, hey, you can ask. We're here all day, man. You can ask your team. Do you want to do that or not? No, problem. we're good. We got, right, here. we got six people. I could share it to a should be able to share it to a page, right? Let's see. Oh man. Oh, what? Uh Lauren's not seeing anything. Yeah, we're gonna we're just getting set up and getting ready to oh, play geez. here. As you can see, as those who, those who are looking at the screen right now, um, uh, I am the weakest link. <laughs> if you can see the points that we have that's going on right now, um, the weakest link is in the game. I wish I could share. I wish uh, Instagram had a better way that you can share like the feed on my on my thing. I know that's tough. Huh? Yeah, um, but I am. I'm. I'm. I, Wayne, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's start playing. Um, let's ready up and play some Apex Legends for folks that don't know what Apex Legends is. It's a battle royal game. Uh, we'll be competing against twenty other teams of three to be the last people standing. Uh, it's a looter shooter. You pick up guns, you pick up attachments, and the end goal is to try to be the last folk standing. So um, for those that don't know me, I'm Wayne Ducheneau, Executive Director of Native Governance Center. Uh, truly an honor to have my friend and comrade in arms, Dallas Goldtooth, and his son Edward streaming with us tonight. This is going to be the first episode of Sovereignty SideQuest with NGC. Um, and so hopefully this is popular and, and we'll do some more coming up in the future. We're going to be talking about sovereignty and shit. Sovereignty and shit. I have some funny questions for you. If you have any questions for me, um, I think we could feel free to fire away. Well, hold on. Let's get in the game first. I mean, I got to get in the zone, man. I got to right. get me. Um, okay. This is um, uncle and uncle nephew gaming night right now. <laughs> um, Real men use iron sights. <laughs> So Wayne's food. going first. I'm up next. I'm going to be going with the Pathfinder. Who are you going, going with, Edward? Edward? Lifeline. Right. So, so my, my son, son is, is with, with me. You. We are, we are actually, actually we are actually uh, live live streaming right now in a gaming cafe lounge in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we're here just to. Uh, I'm filming in Albuquerque right now, and my son came down for the weekend to hang out. There's a thin line between life and death. Um, Edward, if you message in Discord, I can't hear anything. Oh, all right. Iron Claw. Oh, I'm the Jump Master? Where do you guys want to go? Wherever you pick is good for me. Dude, the responsiveness on the screen <sighs> is freaking me out. Shoes. Okay, let's, uh, this might be a let's good go place there. To land. That sounds good. Actually, on the oh, other end, yeah. back there. Okay. All right. Roger. All right, who's ready to fail? Uh, I am. If you have a respiratory system. And just so folks know, we didn't warm up at all. We're jumping in first time today, playing live for you. Yeah. We have. This is uh, as fresh as it can be. As <laughs> fresh as the freshest rain. I don't know if I picked the right spot. Did I pick the right spot? This will work. I'm I think we'll, here. Be, we'll be the only ones here, so. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. What you all are going to be seeing on the screen is us as a team. Picking I got up. a treasure. 
Go ahead. Uh, treasure pack. Nice. Lucky us. We are already I have no idea room. what that means. But I got I got a treasure pack. I gotta get used to this again. I can't remember what a treasure pack does, if I'm being honest. Edward, what, Edward, what does what treasure, treasure pack do? Pack do? What? Treasure pack, what does it do? Uh, you can collect them one per day, just for like, like a mini battle pass. Oh, that, don't, pay no, pay, pay no attention to that. Pay no pay attention, attention to that. Always better than iron sights. Disregard, disregard. Disregard the fact that I don't know what I'm necessarily doing here, so. Uh, anyone need backpacks? Uh, I do, yeah. There's a backpack up here. Common. I could use that. Extra supplies over here. Alright, I'll take that. So my character is Bangalore. She's an assault character. Shoots hey. smoke. To help confuse enemies. Uh, yeah, and I am, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Pathfinder. See, this is, I'm, I'm the worst gamer in the world, but I'm so good <laughs> at being bad. Oh, no. oh, hey, we're in the circle already, aren't we? We are, yeah. Here I go. Um, alright. Hang on, Joe, I gotta, uh, I'm gonna stay here, I gotta check, check something on Facebook quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, here we go. Oh, we go. I, that's what I want. Where's that scout at? I got it. Hold on, well, well, let's wait for him. Oh, I don't need this. Let's see. Uh... Actually, I'll keep it for now until I get something else. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Oh, I don't need this. Hell yeah, baby. Something else. All right, we're coming over to get you. Oh, whoa, Wait. whoa, what is that? Oh, I don't need this. Right, Hell yeah, baby. Something else. Come on, come on, Wayne. All right. Come on, Grandpa. Yep. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on. Where are we going? Uh, I have no idea. All right, I'm coming. I see you. <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, so... I've known Wayne for a bit now. Yep. And Wayne and his team actually actually it wasn't even Wayne. You didn't even invite me to this. It was like your your uh, your team. Shotgun bolt here. That's true. That is true. Who are awesome, by the way, and they're watching right now. Um, they hit me up and said, "Hey, would you like to play video games? Because we know that um, you like to play video games with Wayne. And Wayne, we've kind of known each other for a bit, and I forgot how." We found out we, we both like to game. I think, God, I can't remember. We were playing. We started playing together when I lived in Minnesota. Um, oh, Everyone, head, head over, over this way. way. There's gunfire this, this way. All right. Yep. Nice. And I think we started playing Warzone together. If I remember right. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we just been kind of playing casually here and there yeah. and then you came up with this idea which I think is brilliant uh, we have uh, nope coming behind us oh it's Edward alright yeah it's Edward this has already been looted so people been here yeah. oh what, what? They're, sh they're shooting oh. Edward pull him this way pull him this way I'm laying cover don't worry I'm I got laser. Yeah, you that nemesis. Laser. You got laser, he said. Alright, let's go this way. Are we retreating? Alright. Yeah. We fear nothing but but death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on me! Oh, I'm down, I'm down. I'm Help me. Uh, All right, I'm just gonna hang out right here. We're gonna get oh. uh, third. Guy right there. On my ping. Yep. Everyone's down. Back to him. Everyone watch. Now Wayne's gonna save us. He's gonna oh, demonstrate. Ah. 
This is what indigenous governance looks like. Taking leadership, not being afraid. Ah, I didn't reload. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I cracked him though. Indigenous right. governance means not planning ahead and reloading <laughs> your gun. That's what it means. That was the standard approach of Apex Legends. Okay. Cool. All right. First Boom. game down. How's that feel, everybody? Let's check the chat. How are you feeling, feeling Edward? <laughs> oh, snap! I went up a level. I'm level three now. Watch out. Level three, level three. All right, uh, I think I'm ready for questions. Let's see. Are you okay. ready? Yeah, let's let's start off. So I'm going to start off with one of my prepared questions. Um, Dallas, what do people not ask you about reservation dogs that you wish they would? God damn it! Why are you coming with the hard questions? Because um, no, uh, what do they not ask me? Um, they ask. Who is a native? <laughs> Who's not the real Indian? <laughs> That's what they ask. That's what the people really want to know. Do you give them the tea, or do you do you make them no, guess? Um, I I don't know, man. Yeah, like it's a. I think people are. I've heard all the different questions. Um, hold on here. I'm gonna pick my. I cannot wait to win this match. Yeah, I I think you know. A lot of you know what actually I'll say this I'm I'm not answering your question I'm I'm doing it, responding differently. That's fine. What's been really great lately is that there have been a lot of people who come up to me and ask how can I get into the film industry? How can I be an actor? Like what yeah. are the tips you have? And it is really cool to uh, I'm relinquishing this to somebody else. It's Don't just it's really ends. cool. I go ahead, go ahead, 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 ahead. Oh, never mind. Um, it's just really cool, like to see people who are inspired to be other native folks who are inspired, who want to do, who want to be actor, or they want to be into writing. What What's kind of difficult about it is that I, I, and I don't say I don't know, but yeah. like, it's just I feel like um, I've been very fortunate, and I want to acknowledge my privilege. That has gotten me to where I am today with my acting and writing. Yep. Um, but the biggest advice I do give is um, collaboration and networking. Okay. Like you, it, it, this industry and acting, writing, like anything around any creative industry, you can't go it alone. You can't be a lone wolf. You can't say, "Oh, I'm just gonna do it my way." And, um, you have to be willing to work with folks and collaborate with people. Um, that's essential. That's I, honestly, I mean, look, I got, I got into it with the, working with the 1491s and making YouTube videos back in the day, and it, it was, uh, it was because we worked as brothers for years. Yeah. And got to know each other. So, I think that's the biggest thing I. I I say is the, is the uh, if you really want to get into any type of heavy mag here. Level film two. industry or I think even artistry in general, artist the artist world is collaborate, work with folks, network, get to know people. Forty five sec. Let's reposition. There. If that makes sense. Makes total makes sense, sense to me. It's a lot about kind of the same how you have to be successful in the nonprofit world, right? It's really about making sure that you connect with people, they understand your mission. They believe in you. They want to work with you. So yeah, it makes total sense to me. Yeah, yeah. I, it's like um, building relationships. That's really what it is, right? That's the other the, the, the kind of the buzzword to it is like you have to be willing to build relationships with folks and um, understand that built in doing so, you really are are building a foundation of success. Yeah, that makes sense to me, man. Well, cool. Why do you uh, <laughs> give every, let's let's tell everybody a little bit about ourselves? Like I am an enrolled citizen of the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe in South Dakota. Uh, I'm 45 years old, and I still play video games. What do you got, my friend? 
Uh, my name is Dallas Goldtooth. I'm a three-time pole, uh, pole dancing champion <laughs> of the tri-state area of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Um, I, I'm quite proud of my pole dancing experience, even though there is a lot of negative stigma against it. True. Um, do I have a long? I already have a long bow. All right. Oh, what's a heat shield, you guys? That's when we get caught in the storm. If you throw the heat the shield. Storm. Yep. For like a certain amount of time before it breaks. All right, we might we might need that, right? Yep, grab it if you can. Um. Uh, no, I am. My name is Dallas, and I am Dakota and Dene from the Lower Sioux Indian Level Community. Two. Good for ranged engagement. And um, stabilizer here. Level two. It's a community in Minnesota. I went to school at UC Berkeley, um, and then I I transferred to the University of Minnesota. And yeah, like uh, I don't know what else to say. That, oh, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little distracted because I'm trying I'm trying to figure out how to game and talk at the same time. It's kind of tough, but oh, that was your Pathfinder. I heard. My bad. Open Although, supply bin over here. Looks like maybe someone was here. No, that was me. Oh, that was you. Okay. Gunshots. This um, time. Position there. Hey, I can drop a. Uh, I'm gonna drop a uh, zip line. Oh, sweet. Let's we do got it. Pretty far to go, so. I'm down with Let's that. Check out that way, friends. Who's ready to fly on a zip line? I am. Half the squads are left. What was your? Uh, oh, oh, enemy I'm, right I'm... there. Enemy on my. Ah, oh, shoot, knock me. Come on, Edward, we need you. Got him, got him. Nice. Uh, I'm, a, I'm coming for you. Okay. Uh, I got you, friend. So, yeah, I, um, I went to UC Berkeley, I, and then I moved back home to Minnesota. I've lived on the Sisseton Wapton uh, Reservation. I've lived in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. and um, that's about that's about it. Where do you currently live? Uh, I do not want to say it. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that makes sense. We need to get to the yeah. circle. We gotta get into the circle, you guys. Yep. Because uh, that's what Edward just said. <laughs> Let's go here. No, I. I. Um, I say that because, uh, you know, as as many folks know, I'm I, I'm an actor. I've been getting more familiar, more known, and I I try to do my best to be very mindful of what I put out into the greater world because there is it can be very unsafe. True. Depending on what you share on social media, what you share publicly, and I really want to be protect my family. I need a shield. How do I use a shield, you guys? How do, what's a quick mark for a shield? Uh, Giving my shields a recharge. Whatever you did right there, yeah. Yeah, I got it, but I, I don't know if there's a quick button. Uh, I'm looking with my longbow. Oh, shoot. All right. Folks are saying the stream is freezing. Hit one for 63. Can you ping them? Where at? Where at? There. Down there. Oh, oh, we're getting third party. From behind or where? Uh, actually, I didn't see where it's coming from. Okay. Oh, in the, in the, in here. That one's up. Oh, someone got a res off. They're healing. Someone's getting revived. Where's the, is there a third party somewhere? No, 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 just on me, down there, bro. Oh, oh, behind us, Edward, behind us. Here we go. I'm coming. 191. Oh, man, we got you both. In the end, everything dies. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, um... Wait. You know, to be honest, like, it took me a while to realize how I 
need to be careful what I put out publicly and I cracked two um, out here. Realize you're still alive. Look at this. Will he do it? Can he do it? He can. Holy crap, I got lucky there. That was not luck. That. I did get the internet boost, Stephanie. All right, I'm gonna come get you, Dallas, and then we'll get you back in your boxes. Okay. Um, is it uh, is it all shaky? Uh, I think it, the the stream froze for a second, but it looks like we're back. So you need, you need to revive us quick, guys. Storm's yep. about to come. Uh, Storm's coming, moving. Going as fast as I can. Are there any questions? You know, does the audience have questions? I'm while not, not Wayne any questions. is while Wayne is struggling to uh, <laughs> to, to say, keep us alive. One minute. Alright, you're back. I'll go to your boxes and guard it. Oh, hey! We're alive! We are alive! Any questions? Not a far ring. From the audience yet? I think we need to go get our loot back. Yep. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go, go for it. Back from the sky. You're up top here, Dallas. Let's check out this area. Oh, I didn't know. You, I didn't, I didn't know, know you had, had the longbow, Edward. What, what was your secondary? secondary? I had a. I had a sentinel of the SMG. Ten seconds. Rings just ahead. We got a question about how tribal affiliation passes down. If you're. We should be able to walk <coughs> it a little bit more slowly because we're no, pretty far. Moving, What's oh, that? Okay. We're slow. Yeah, there's. We're on the slow side. I think so we can take a little bit of time. Here. And there's two zip lines. We're fine. Sniper stock here, level three. Helps I need some. Uh, I need some heavy. Heavy ammo. Yeah, if you guys come across it. Okay. Oh shit. Where's that coming from? Uh, I. What? You can look in the sky. And see. Yep. Give me a sec. Recharge I got too aggressive there, my bad. Taking a knee, catching up. Uh, okay, so how families usually decide depends on a lot of different things. Oh! Where you at? Where you at? I'm in the middle, trying not to get killed here. Well, I'm trying to. Oh! Let's uh, go along the edge to your your left. Let's go okay. this way. Do I need that? Do I need that helmet? Yes, I do. I hear a guy here. I hear a guy here. Oh, bamboozled. Where are you getting shot at from? Right here. Broken. Replicator touching down. in the chimney. I'm like, I'm just like, hey, I'm just hanging out, guys. I'm down, I'm oh, down. No. Yep. Alright. Oh man, they lasered me. Okay. Uh, Aretha, I don't actually. Um, My teammates play it more often than I. I am like the lowest of the low rank on this game. All right, so I'm going to get to the question in chat, y'all. It was, how do families decide what tribe nation to enroll their children in? It's really kind of just up to personal preference based on a couple of different factors, right? Some tribes have blood quantum requirements. Um, for those that don't, uh, really the parents can choose oftentimes. If you have a, a blended marriage where you have a Lakota and a Diné person, for example, um, uh, the parents, as long as they meet the minimum qualifications, for enrollment within the tribe, they could pick and choose where they enroll their tribe or where they enroll their kids at. Hope that helps. Ahoo! Uh Ahaha! Uh -huh. Yeah, in that way. I have spoken. Okay, I uh, what I'm gonna do is actually um, I'm gonna. I kind of want. 
Matt, I'm excited now. I actually want to do more streaming. Yeah. And I want to be able to stream on TikTok and Twitch at the same time. So I got I'm still working that out. Cool. Um I'm oh I'm holding you guys up. My bad. Yeah, that's ready up. Come on, bro. My bad. I, I don't know, man. It's like Maybe it's too fast for me. Maybe I'm just too slow. Maybe I'm just a uncle that can't get with the times. <laughs> That's maybe what it's about. I'm level five, guys. I'm moving. I'm that coming is, up. That is awesome. Um, we need Edward to ready up. Oh, he's in a match still. Are you already in a match? No, he's not. Well, it says in a match on my screen. There we go. Okay. Nice. Um, to my Twitch followers, Twitch, uh, thank you for following, watching right now. Um, I know you can just hear my voice. We're playing, playing some Apex. Um, how I, I, you know, a good way to decide what what tribe to enroll your kids is paper, rock, scissors. <laughs> the ancient, ancient game. No cluster fox trots in my unit. The old game. Uh, right. To be honest, I always pick Pathfinder because. I get so overwhelmed thinking of playing the other characters and I don't know how to use their um, their ability. This like Pathfinder, I'm like, okay, I just point it somewhere I want to get get there fast. It's easy. Yep. Like the other ones, you have to be more strategic about how you use them. See, and that's why that's why I like Bangalore because I get scared in fights and as soon as I get shot, I smoke and run away. Introducing your champion. Yeah. There you go. Oh, here's a question from the folks in the audience, Dallas. What are you okay. snack, What are you snacking on? Uh, I'm eating um, carne asada tacos, but just the talk, just the meat part. Okay, because I can't, I can't do that. All right, let's um, let's see here. Uh, let us. This might be a good place to land. Who, who, who just dropped that pin? I like that. I like that. You did, I think, did you? No, I, I dropped this one here. Hold your breath. If you have a respiratory system. So uh, I'm eating <coughs> carne asada tacos. I've been on this like whole like craving of carne asa of tacos specifically. So I've been traveling. I've been able to travel lately, and so everywhere I go, I have to try to try out local tacos. Someone go there, and I'll go here. I'll go here. Do you see any other uh, enemy? I don't. What's your favorite taco? Taco joint back home or anywhere? Uh, Man, I don't know, man. There, there was this. All right, I don't know the name, but one time, the, one of the last times, the 1491s, which is a comedy group that I, I uh, co-founded with uh, four other brothers. Got an extended uh, sniper mag here. Level three. The last time we played uh, a show together was down in Mikasuki, Florida. Okay. And we flew out at like six in the morning out of Miami. We got into town at like midnight and we were super hungry. And we found a, I found it, I'm proud to say, I found a taco <laughs> joint. This random Mexican joint near the airport and it was one of the best tacos I've ever had in yeah. my entire life. Are you a beef, chick, beef taco guy, pork taco guy, chicken taco guy? Steak, man, steak and lingua, uh, pork tongue. Right on. Oh, that's. What was that? What was that noise? Oh, I just. Uh, uh, little supply drops in the middle. Yep. Right over here. All right. I need a shield, right? So, do we shoot these little balls? Or punch them? You can't, or you can melee them by pressing B. New kill leader. If they're getting cocky, they're getting sloppy. That was. That was underwhelming. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Uh, I got Oh, okay. Oh, we're just looting, right? Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, that's my my favorite is just carne asada tacos. I, I'm kind of getting into El Pastor a little bit lately, but um, lingua like beef tacos. Ooh, that's my jam. Level two. I can get down with some beef tacos. Let's see. All right. I need some. Uh, here's a shield. Got a shield here. Level two. Got an extended sniper mag here. Level three. Oh, whoa, whoa, I see a gold shield over here. Oh, sweet. There's a difference between gold and red. 
Yep. Uh, I, gold is like light under red, it's like less than it can be used. But you're able to heal your teammates faster. And it takes less for you to heal yourself, right? Backpack here, level three. Does it? I think so. Huh? Oh, you can't hear him. I'm sorry. What was the question again? Does it take less? Extended heavy mag here. I think level it, uh, four. the uh, gold shield, you can heal yourself faster. The gold well. shield, you can heal it. The gold, the gold shield, shield, you can heal, heal yourself, yourself faster? faster. Uh. No, you heal others faster. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, okay. he... Oh, you can hear him? I can hear him. I can just, yeah. Uh, hey, there's a treasure pack here. There's a treasure pack here. I already got mine. I'm looking for a freaking... another gun. <laughs> I have the Mozambique, and I'm not a fan of it. I would switch that gun out. I know. I, I used to be really good at the longbow, but that was on controller. I think you gotta give it a try again, brother. Um, do you guys have your weapons you want? You can replace your Mozambique yeah, with the peace. Here's another blue shield, Edward. Got an Evo shield here. Level two. Right. Shotgun bolt here. Level four. Oh, man. There's a peacekeeper here and a, a golden shotgun bolt right next to it. Oh, nice. Right. Bop, 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 bop. I think I'm going to um, take that so, unless you want it. Dallas, do you want it? All right, Wayne. Wayne, tell me about Native Governance Center. Great like question. I knew, I knew you all first, Native Governance Center via the Bush Foundation. Yep. So we were uh, born out of the work the Bush Foundation did in the region for about seven years. They soon realized that supply bin here. In order for the work to be sustaining and long term and meaningful, uh, that you had to it had to be led by natives, right? So it couldn't be a foundation program. And so Native Government Back Center was here. born in two. 2015 yeah. uh, is when we were created. And then we, uh, I came on as the first executive director in four. 2016. Okay. So I've been doing this before I had this gig. I was, uh, oh, you asked me about NGC and I'm That's talking about myself. Go figure. Um, he, you're a Lakota man. They can't help it sometimes. Right, right. Thank you. And, uh. So, uh, yeah, we're a nonprofit, native led nonprofit organization that works in a three state region Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota, um, and the 23 native nations that share that geography. Uh, we do our work in three main buckets. Uh, we do direct tribal governance support. Storm's closing in. That sees us yep. meet with elected tribal leaders, find issues around governance, leadership they're facing, and bring our resources to bear for their solutions. Um, we have a leadership program called the Native Nation Rebuilders Program that we inherited from the Bush Foundation that takes already established or aspiring tribal leaders and gives them just a few more tools for their leadership toolbox. Uh -huh. and, and then we have a community engagement and education program, which is like this work, where we understand that Indian country, we are small but mighty, and we need to build awareness about the, the fact that we're still here. Let's head, let's head that way. And so... Um, Solid copy. This type of work, we're hoping to inspire folks to learn more about Native people um, and really get them to understand the importance of sovereignty, jurisdiction, those type of things. Awesome. Yeah. That, the, um, what's the, what's the, the leaders, the nation builders one, what do you call it? Native nation rebuilders, yeah. Yeah, that I think that's that was my first introduction. I think for a lot of us, that was our introduction. That's I think where you and I first met. Um, you and the 1491s came and did a. Um, oh, shot, shots fired, 134. Southeast. Yep, yep, yep. You and the 1491s came to our first rebuilder reunion, I think, if I remember right. Tiger there is five. It. Oh, I hear, I hear running around me, but I think that's you guys. Uh, I just saw the solo. I'm pushing up here. Oh, oh, they're getting third party. Where at? Ping them? No, that, the one that was shooting at us before, they're getting third party. Okay. You want to push them or do you want to move into circle? Uh, let's go towards where you are going and circle around. I am taking fire, friends. So 
Sounds good. Someone's right next to me. Someone's right next to me. Uh, let's, get, let's cover it. Let's cover Go back to Edward. Cover back Edward. Sounds good. Sounds good. Edward, come towards us. Come towards us. No, he ran. He ran. He ran. He ran. I'm fine. They're gonna push towards us, I assume. Yeah, I'm gonna do a uh, zip line. Okay. Oh, I I just jumped to my death. <laughs> oh shit, you did too. <laughs> this guy right behind me. This guy right behind me. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hide, 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 hide. I'm gonna try and get him. I'm that was awesome. You. On my Twitch feed, that was pretty awesome. Aretha asked nice, on my nice. Twitch feed, what happens if someone has multiple tries but doesn't meet requirements to any? Doesn't that contribute to the blood quantum erasure? Yes, actually, I have a cousin that... Um, Knocked another one? I have a cousin that belongs to, like, is like five or four different tribes. But in order to belong to, in order to roll to those tribes, doesn't have enough quantum, blood quantum, for each any of those individual tribal nations, and so they, could, they can't get enrolled because each one of them has like a certain blood quantum. So he's technically like, I think like three fourths or half, he's half like native, um, but all of them have like at least a quarter blood quantum. I am a strong proponent for us to. To do away with blood quantum, blood quantum requirements for tribal membership, I think that is ridiculous, outdated, um, and there are far better models. At least I'm, and also I'm happy you guys are using my uh, zip line. Thank you. We'll get you respawned right now. You might have time to go get your stuff. I said oh. we leave these crates for. Yeah, yeah. leave the crates from you. So great question. Uh, another question is someone wants to know what's your Twitch name, Dallas? The Dallas Goldtooth. Alright, the Dallas Goldtooth. I think I can I can put in a care package for you right here. Alright, let's do it. It's right here, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. That's for you, that's for you. Thank you. Sounds like some Ooh. shots east of us. All right, that I got uh, blue shield. Thank you very much. I do need a second weapon, but I'll, I'll pick it up. Some sound coming from over there. In that direction, okay. Yeah, I'm a I'm a proponent of lineal descendancy, where you can uh, as a as a determination for. Well, I actually kind of like the way my tribe uh, enemy over here on my ping. He just ran down below. Right, uh, right there. Enemy oh, okay. No, that's a, a mirage, bamboozled. Shooting. Let's move towards circle. Oh, that one. Bit. That one. That one's legit. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, he just ran into that building. Tag him 55. You tag oh, him? On me, on me. Enemy in sight. I, I hit the... I hit the guy up there twice. So. Heads up. Dropping the plane. They both have Supreme Shield. They both have Supreme Shield. Alright, so we got come this way, I guess. No? Oh, we got to move into this circle, huh? Yep. Where are you, where are you going? Wait. I'm just shooting those guys. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting away. Are you pushing? You're pushing. You're pushing. I was. I was. But they left. They ran. All right. All right. So uh, head this way. Yep. Oh. He, uh, I think he's solo. The guy shooting us on our left. Okay. Uh, oh shit! I'm getting taken out. I'm getting taken out. Here we go. 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 Grenade. Contact with top. Bug it. Drag out. Going thermite. Fire, friends. Opening fire on the enemy. Oh, shoot. Give my shield to here. Repairing my enemy. Man, we are like sandwiched between a couple different teams. Listen up. Give my shield to recharge. Give 
my fields of recharge. Alright, I'm gonna zip line uh here, come on. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can zip line up here. Zipline deployed. Nice. Wow, that made a There's an enemy right here. Enemy over there. Let's push on him. I need energy ammo if you guys see any. Uh, there's a revive coming over here. Right? Knocked him. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. All I have is a set in the lab. All I have is a set in the Another notch on the belt. Shit. I have been down. From up here. Alright. Oh! I'm spotted. I'm getting hit. Right. Yeah, I can actually jump. Okay. Giving him the shin. I can hit myself, I can hit myself, I can hit myself, I can hit myself. Oh, young warrior, Sue Native Gaming. Thank you for joining the stream Hi. chat on my Twitch. That's my my buddy from back home, Jared Anderson. Appreciate you, Jared. I've heard a lot about you. Wayne has uh, talked about many many stories about you. Hey. Not so good. Just kidding. Um, no, I you know actually I always wanted to do the Nation Rebuilders program. Yeah. But I was I lived out of state. I couldn't do it. Like I just wouldn't. Be, I wasn't able to commit to it. But it was. I always thought. I think seconds. Ring it's five. an amazing idea. Tell, tell Edward I'm going to go try to get you rest. Alright, he's going to go get, oh, he's gonna go, he's gonna go get go try to get me rest. rest. Um, I think that, you know, my sister was on tribal council. I have a yep. lot of relatives in on tribal council. It's a, one, it's a, it's a, our team against another team. Uh, oh, two squads left. We're one of them. Um, I'm gonna be here because I have high ground. Alright, Edward, Edward has high ground. Oh, you can hear him. Yep, I can hear him. Um, I, I think that... Oh snap! Oh snap! Here I come! Here I come! I don't see anybody so far. I hear people next to me. Alright, uh, come this, yeah, come, yeah, come yeah, this yeah, way. Come towards us, uh, Edward. Alright, I need a gun. I need... Something to defend myself. Attack him 55. He's in. He, it's a mirage. He's in that building right now. Okay. Cracked him. All right, where are they at? Right here on me. Let's go this way. It's the one guy who's able to use the drones and also a mirage. Okay. I knocked the Mirage. He knocked. The other guy. Knocked I the other guy. Down. Got the Seers down. Well, 100. 100. He's down here somewhere. I see him. I see him. That's the last guy. Oh, that's, that's Mirage. Guy. That's the last guy. That's, that's Mirage. Guy. That's Mirage. Sorry, my There's bad. one more somewhere. On me, on me, I think. Oh, yep. I up, top, up top, up top. Up top. Contact on my marker. Fire, Just, I'm gonna hold the circle. Give me a sec. Recharge. Oh, oh, got him to 77. Already on my mark. Firing for effect. All right, I need a revive. Getting you, getting you, getting you. All right. Oh, there it is. We won. Yeah. Victory. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good game, good game, brother. Can I get a Lily in this house? <laughs> you are the Apex Champions. Uh, uh, uh. Cool. Hey. Bet. Um. I just want to say, you guys, next time I think Wayne and my son, you guys should play better because I'm tired of carrying you. <laughs> Look at all the assists he got for me, though. I got all the kills, he got all the damage. That's I awesome. Am, I, it is, uh, it is what it is, you know? It is. Like, you know, all of us play our part. My job was to pull out the enemy. I was the, the bait. You remember that scene in Jurassic Park where they get out tricked by the Velociraptor and the British dude goes, clever girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was the clever girl. 
you were in all the best way. I am the clever girl. Uh, um, Wayne. Yes. Wayne. Yes. Wayne. Yes. Um, what's something that you wish tribal leader? What is a skill that you wish more tribal leaders had? Oh, great question. I think one of the things tribal leaders today need to know it's knowledge, right? They need to understand from pre-contact to first contact through treaty making, understand the federal Indian policy history up through to today. So many of our tribal leaders nowadays know just from gaming forward and they're not grounded and rooted in who we are and what it took to get us to where we are today. So that's, yeah. that would be the one thing I would say, like if I, if I could wave a magic wand, it was to help people, help tribal leaders understand the arduous journey it was to get to the sovereignty we have today. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense. And so, like, what what's like a moment that you, if you could pick, look, there's a lot of different moments that led us to where we are today, but what is a pre-gaming moment that you think is very significant for folks to understand, or these tribal leaders? It doesn't have to be the, the most important, but what's one that is in your mind? The first thing that pops to my mind actually comes from a Republican administration, the Nixon administration, right? It was in the 70s, the self-determination no, area being self-determination era being born. So the Indian uh -huh. Self-Determination and Education Assistance Act was uh, just the, 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 the legislation that followed up termination that really allowed for tribal tribes to continue to begin to recontrol uh, programming for their people. Yeah. And there was like, I think it's not just those big acts, but like, there's a lot like, we often forget the people who were behind it, right? Yeah. For like sure. there's a, there were so many like tribal leaders in the trenches in this like 50s, 60s, and 70s. Yep. That wow, that was intense. Uh, folks don't really know. All right, we're, let's go. Uh, let's go hot. Hold Sounds your good. If you have to breathe. There's a little Easter egg right here. If you look right there, you see the little green dinosaur floating. Yeah. That's actually an Easter egg from all the uh, games of this game company. Oh really? It's like they'll always hide the little hidden Nessie. I've always found them Titanfall too. It was super funny to find. Hey Wayne, do you ever play Titanfall? I did back in the day. I played the first Titanfall a lot. Dude, my son, it was the best. And that was like the bomb diggity game. I I always, I think like all of us, we wish tight, there was a Titanfall too. All right, come back here, Edward. Cracked an enemy shield. Frag out. Uh, I'm down. Oh, you're both down. Shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to have to heal. Give my shields a heal. Okay, I'm going to heal and try to get to you, Edward. Let him know I'm going to try to come for him. Hey, what's up, Rebel Tiger? Thanks for the popcorn. Amazing Panda, as always. Popping into the chat on my Twitch. Um, folks that are watching on Facebook, Instagram, no, 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 uh, here, here. I'm Dallas Colton, I'm here playing with Wayne, and um, ah. I also have my Twitch up, I go by the Dallas Colton, I'm just starting, so it's like really, oh, really man. I've been learning, trying to do more uh, streaming. Hi everybody, Facebook and Instagram land, although sounds like if you're watching me on us on Facebook, it's on my personal uh, Facebook page. Had an issue converting over to Native Governance Center's website, so please join us at Facebook at WayneDX2. Dallas, I got a question for you. Let's do the question. What skills did you learn in video games that transfer to your real life and your work, and for me, I guess, my work in sovereignty? Let's, let's hear you <laughs> this first. Is, this is a question like a, like a random staff person is like, I need to come up with a question. <laughs> I gotta come up with a question. And it's gotta be connected to gaming and the topic at hand. <gasps> um, uh, okay, this is I'm beating a uh, I'm beating a dead buffalo over the head, but it is communication and collaboration. I love video games that you 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 are forced to collaborate with other people, or you are forced to engage with the world beyond just like like um, you know I, I like games that challenge me that engage a deeper part of my mind, and so. Um, 
I'm, <laughs> there's like two different things. I apologize. So the first one is I like games that you, for uh, multiplayer games where you work with people and collaborate. And also that forces you to communicate. Um, I think it has uh, made me a better communicator in, a, in, a, uh, in the real world. Yeah. Get ready to stitch well, that question actually was not from staff. That was from my niece, Jill, who is a Native Nation rebuilder. Well, that was thank you, Jill, for that question. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart in that <laughs> traditional way. She's, according to the chat, she's trying to find meaning in her kids playing games, right? So, I mean, oh, okay. Um, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just no, my kids play. I all my kids are gamers. All right. Um. And I, I think also within the context, look, we just came out of the pandemic and my kids basically became gamers over, during the pandemic. It was, a, it was a way for them to maintain those social connect, connection with their friends. Mm -hmm. I also have, uh, you know, let's go here. I also, another aspect is like my kids have social anxiety. Some of my children have, here we go. you know, a difficulty in, in engaging and communicating with other folks. So I have seen video games and gaming help my children come out of their their shell of sorts yeah so uh, i think that's also a big part of this it gives people it gives our folks more confidence man this is gonna be this is gonna be oh my goodness as heck you guys look how my teams are oh man Oh, Dallas, you picked the hottest drop. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm oh. dead. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, I'm getting beat up live on the stream, y'all. Oh, and spit on. I got spit on. And the finisher. Communication, network, teamwork, and awareness. Right on. I think... For me, for gaming, like another thing to think about is, uh, um, like if you play a good role-playing game, you have to understand, you have to be able to read good, you have to comprehend, you have to be understand situations. So it really is about learning how to use strategy as well. And I think that's what tribal leaders need. Nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 come on, oh, oh, oh. Come, come, on. on. come on, son. You got, you got this. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. I believe in you. As you die. <laughs> yeah, and folks, if you don't know, I'm playing with my son. My son is actually in the room over here. He's playing with us right now. Hey, I am want to entertain the idea to uh, potentially switch games. Should we one more and then switch? Or are you ready to switch now? No, let's, let's go one more. Okay. We did get our one victory in Apex Legends, so I think that's really one cool. More. We got to win that one. Yeah. Um, when are we gonna play Animal Crossing again? That's uh, that's on my chat for um, on my Twitch. It, you know, my my family really got into Animal Crossing during the pandemic. I think a lot of people did. Yeah. It was like a it was really a good way to. I don't know. I guess disassociate. Maybe is one. Of, it's it was a way to escape all the chaos that was the, during the pandemic, all the fear and all that. Um, I think it came out right at the exact moment it needed to come out. Uh, a lot of my family still play Animal Crossing. That's awesome. You ever play it, Wayne? I, do, I never have played Animal Crossing. I, it's one of those games that I never could quite get into. But not for lack of opportunity. It's just one of those things that uh, at the time I didn't have a Switch when it came out. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, here's a good question, Dallas. What's your favorite video game and why? Um, right now, it's called Hell Let Loose, which you know, Wayne. Yep. Um, it is a first-person uh, military simulation World War II game. And it's not like this. It's not a fast-paced. It's, it's very it's military simulation, meaning that one, one hit, one kill kind of thing. Like, you get... Um, I always pay my respects. You get shot families. once, you're dead. And it soft? really, it, it's very technical game, and it require it literally requires Let's you to communicate with your here. team. 
Okay. Um, so that's pretty sweet. I've been trying to get Wayne to play it, but Wayne's too good. Yeah, he's kind of just too good for that. It was a fun game. We played a couple times. It's a fun game. It's just, uh, the realness is amazing. Like you said. Uh, do we have company with us? Are we going inside? Inside, yep. Enemies are falling from the sky oh, there is no inside. We gotta go up. Oh, what the heck? My bad. That was a bad drop. Oh, wait, drop. there is... Oh, shit. There's a guy just went by me. He just went up. Yep, I'm going up too. I have nothing to fight with. I have nothing. Me either. I'm running. Oh, I should not go up here. <laughs> I'm gonna come over, come over here and try to get some guns. Um, what is this thing right here? Uh, it shoots you a long ways. It's like a launcher. All right. Oh, I'll go towards you. Let's go up here, Edward. Let's explore this way. Um, so that was two squads that we that we just got out of, right? Yep. I have a hill drone. You have a hill drone? Heal drone. A heal drone? Or, uh... All right, Wayne, let him let him heal you up. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yep. I still don't have a. <coughs> There's a Mozambique over here. Here, here, here. At the, at the. Let's reposition here. What? 45 seconds. Oh, next slide. All right, all right, my son, coming through, coming through. All right, I think we should go back this way, loot up. He's in that building. Okay. He's solo. He's solo. Beside us. Oh, 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 oh! Where'd that come from? Uh, from. That was a uh, someone else. Oh, someone, they're rolling in on the. On oh, the, these guys one shot. Nice job, nice job. More coming, more coming. on the other side. He's cracked. Oh no. Oh. Well, I'm out. I'm out. Right on, right on. I gotta he start. Was cracked. He was right there. Cracked. Yeah, they he were. <laughs> I, I'm just saying they're cracked. I don't know what that means. My son, so it's, I guess it's when their shields cracked, right? Yes, sir. All right, are we ready to try a new game? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I could exit out. Okay. So, folks watching the stream, so, we're so going to. Okay. Um, I'm done. All right. Yeah, folks watching watching my live stream. Hey, uh, folks on my Twitch, can you hear Wayne? We're, I assume you can. We're switching games, folks. So. Uh, Dallas, a question as you died. Uh, what gives you hope for the future? What gives me hope for the future? There is no hope. There is no hope, he says. We all die in the end. Um, <laughs> We're going to Fall Guys, know, right? Yeah, let's go to Fall Guys. I am... Let's see here. Can I sign in under my... Wait, Fall Guys, it has to be separate, right? You can't... Can you sign in with Steam? I don't know. If it makes me sign in um, my password, it's going to be funny because I'm like, okay, let me see here. Ooh. Hope for the future, right, guys. A... Can't let you bail on the question. I, I'm not trying to bail. I'm trying to make sure I sign in. Okay. Um, I'm signing into the gaming cafe's information. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That was loud oh. for me. All right, so I'm signed in under someone else, uh, the gaming. Huh? All right. The Dallas Gold Tooth. The Dallas Gold Tooth. All right. Okay, uh, I'm signed in here. Oh, what's your what's your name? I don't know. I don't know. What is my name? Should be in the top left. There's a blue box. Or if you want to look for me, I'm Gambit DX in this game. Hold on, I'm seeing if I can, if I even can do this here. Oh, I hope so. Oh, good. Okay. Cree said I could turn the sound down. I'm trying to figure out how I can get in here. If anyone watching my Twitch, you let me know. 
how I can get in. I'm trying to. Oh, got it. It's running right now. So, folks, just so everyone knows, Fall Guys is a party game. You uh, you are these little blobby characters, like you can see on my screen on our stream, uh, and you run through a series of challenges, obstacle oh, courses. Oh, okay, there it starts. Up updated. Uh, again, kind of like Apex, where you want to be the last person standing. So you want to win all the challenges, continue to progress, and be the last person to to succeed in all the challenges, and that's how you win the game. Uh, Dallas, you've played Fall Guys before, right? I, you know what? I don't know if I have. So we're going to have a journey here. Right on. Right on, right on, right on. Um, I'm going to let you punt what gives you hope for the future because I have a funnier question that just popped in the chat. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, here. Cool. Um, folks can see on my – I just pulled up the the web browser. So on my Twitch, you can see me and – Wayne here. So as I follow guys, boots up. Wayne, say hi to everybody on my Twitch wave here. Hi, everybody. So again, right here, this is the illustrious, the lovely <laughs> um, Wayne Ducheneau the second, executive director of Native Governance Center. And we're doing this uh, sovereignty side quest, which is a is this experimental? Is this you got this is not experimental. You guys want to do this, right? This, this is we thing. think we think we're going to do this. I mean, uh... Would love to have you back on a future soul potentially uh as well, one of the things we learned in advertising and marketing for this there are a lot of people in indian country that play games and so uh, possibly have other guests come join play different games uh what have you yeah so we're hoping to make it a series awesome that was really loud sorry to folks are on my stream oh. I, my fall guys feed as fall guys game is really loud um so we're here talking about sovereignty and governance in the future, in the past. What brings me, what gives me hope? Well, you know, I was thinking about this. I was really thinking about this. Um, I, there's a thing called climate anxiety. Hmm. There's a name for it. It's that general anxiety we feel because we are seeing the writing on the wall. The world's getting hotter and so on and so forth. And it creates this sense of, of powerlessness of like what's the point yep right so much shit's happening what's the point why should we even fight and i i'll, I'll be up front i've been there i've actually got i've dealt with depression and have sought out therapy to help me through this and process my own own, own emotions but also in that journey this is cliche. This may be, this is like something we all, like a lot of our people talk about all the time, but is real. I thought about this last week is we have ancestors who were in the thick of it where the future was uncertain. Mm -hmm. The future was bleak because the moment was bleak, right? And we got through it. We are continuing to work our way through it. And so the very fact that our people have already been through the apocalypse right. gives me hope that we are going to get through this as we move forward, as long as we stick to our our, our principles, our teachings. Um, I, I, ha I cannot give up faith. Dude, beautiful answer. Uh, and for everyone out there, I would ditto that. That's the one thing I think... Uh, I learned becoming an urban Indian when I moved to start Native Governance Center, when we moved out to the Twin Cities as Native Governance Center was starting. Uh, I learned how easily it was to become disconnected from home and from culture and from language when you don't get an opportunity to see it and hear it every day. And it's one of the things that I, I'm truly blessed now that I get to do this job from my home on the Cheyenne River Reservation, right? It's surrounded by my people, so surrounded by our culture, our language, um, get to see the beauty in our people and I, I agree with you 100% it's there's something about indigenous wisdom especially for our people Turtle Island right the, the the DNA we share with this very land that as we are returning to our culture our traditions as we are healing ourselves I believe we're gonna heal the world um, and the other thing the great thing about our people is we share right it's not like we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna keep it to ourselves and hoard it we're gonna share our healing so that the world can become a better place uh, yeah, absolutely. I I'm, I can't help but laugh because on my end, I started up this game. So on my feed, 
all they can hear is the music of Fall Guys as you're oh. giving that, that giving that eloquent speech. <laughs> That's um, awesome. Okay, my son and I are in. Okay, what is it? You want to add me? Let me see. How do I add you? Uh, down in the bottom right by play, there's a pink plus button. Yep. Press that. All right, add friend. What's your name on here? Gambit DX. Where, where does that come from again? Uh, chess, right? When I first started playing games online, the first thing I did was online, and Gambit is a, a series of hey, moves in chess. You're not accepting friend requests. What the heck? Well, it's just probably not from you, bro. Sorry, hang on. Let me fix that. It's coming from Tech 505 Soldier. Let's see. Let me try to add you. What's your name? Um, Tech 505 Soldier. Let's see. Hang on, let me try this again. All right. Anyone? All right, go ahead and add me again. I had to, it should work. There it is. Yeah, got it. Sweet. Um, let's see if I can. Are you ready for your next hard hitting question? Um, yeah, actually, this is a question for my chat. Actually, for oh. um, folks on my, my Twitch stream. Or do Wayne, do you know how to window can I how do I make the game a window so I can move it around? Uh I think you gotta go to your options. Nope, that is it. Uh preset. No, that's not it won't be in there. It's um to put your game in a Windows mode? Yeah, yeah. There, I think there's a quick key for it. Because that way I can actually see the game and then also have our um visuals up. Oh, uh I, I was just looking at settings. If you go to the, the cog wheel, go to options, and go to video, there's a windowed mode. You could press, you could turn it on. Where's that at? Uh, the, go to the cog wheel in the top right. Then go to options. Oh, sweet. All right. Hold on here. That worked. Sweet. Oh, well, actually, it didn't exactly work, but here, let me see if I can figure this out. And did you invite me? You did, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I can't move it. I can't move the screen. <clears throat> You'll have to invite me to your game, my friend. No. Ah! All right, hold on. You're breaking my heart. Don't break my heart. I'm trying to make this work. As much as I can, like, I'm gonna literally gonna be like a little sliver of our heads way down here. <laughs> All right, uh, I did. I already invited you. Did you? No, you added me as a friend. Now invite me to the game. How do I invite? Uh, go down on that little pink button again. Press that, and then click yep. on my name and invite me. Oh, there it is. Sent. Awesome. All right, Edward, you are you, you. Do we need to hear you? Huh? No. Okay. All right, we're in. We're in. What are we doing? Now hit ready. Solo show? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Can you select a different game? All right, everyone, ready, ready up. <laughs> All right, cool. Next question. Yep. And this comes from the notorious prankster on Native Governance Center staff, Jessica Glidden, who at another time I will share with you the terror she put me through in our last team retreat. Um, what is your go-to prank or what is your most successful prank ever? Hmm. Making people believe that I'm actually Native American. And so far, <laughs> I'm doing really good. You're I'm not. full-blooded German, Italian. I'm well, it's three fourths Italian, one fourth German, and three fourths um, Norwegian. No way. All right, how do we do that? Oh, snap! Where right. are you guys at? I'm right in the back row. I'm, I'm, front, I'm right in the center. Here we go. Here we go. There's a chicken behind me. Oh, I fell! I'm on. I'm still up here. I'm still up here. Oh, I'm sorry to everybody watching my stream. I haven't played this game in a while. My video settings are a little jacked, but I think I'm going to win. Here. I'm up here. What color are you? I'm pink in the middle. I'm 
Fourth. Oh, watch out, balls. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see you. And... Oh, no! No! Oh. Hey. Alright, I'm through, I'm through. Where are you at? You guys in there? Ah! No, I'm back. I'm farther back. I'm just not going up the ramp. Oh, I made it, I made it! Alright, I qualified. Come on! Gotta get there, guys. I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! Qualified! Oh, my son's actually playing with the the controller. Is it easier? That's what I'm trying to play with the controller too. Right now? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that. All right. So besides making people believe you're a native. Okay. No. All right. Paint my prank. Um. Um. Let's see here. What else have I done? Dude, that's such a hard question. Like. Oh, one time. Okay, this one is actually funny. And silly is my sister Georgina. Okay. Um, we she was like nineteen, eighteen, or no, she was like seventeen, and seventeen or eighteen. I and I was older, and I called. I, I got a new phone. Okay. That no one had the number to. And I started texting her as if I was a guy. <laughs> that got her number. Yeah. And I was like, and she had her best friend. I was texting. I was like, yo, um, my, your brother, Dallas, and the other guy said, uh, get oh! your number. I qualified. Me too. I basically was like, yo, let, let, uh, I want to talk to you. I just got out of jail. I got three kids. Um, and I saw a picture of you and she believed me. And I was like, I, and so it was just like, I, I carried it on for like two days. Yeah. I was like, my name was Steve-O, Steve-O. And I clowned her. I was like, how, how are you going to be with some guy that literally just got out of jail, three kids, doesn't have a job. And it was fun. Now I think back on it now, as I'm talking about it, I'm like, it wasn't, it really wasn't that funny. Yeah. But at the time, it was hilarious. Did you guys make it in or was it just me? Well, made it in too. So I don't have one. I don't want to share one of mine right away, but the best one I've ever seen was uh, I have some relatives and they're big into nicknames. And one of, the, one of my cousins, he did not like having nicknames. And so he got really upset with his family and he told them, my name is William. And don't call me differently. And so what they did is they called him differently for the next six months. <laughs> Just because of that? Just because he said, don't call me differently, yeah. Which I thought was amazing. Uh, oh, they, they, they come back, huh? They do come back, yeah. So what's the point? You got to try to cut somebody off? Yeah, you want to be the one who's, I think, try to cut folks off. Jump? Oh, snap. You can jump. Oh, where are you guys at? Are you, how many is there left of us? Four? Five? I don't know. I see one of you. I see one of you. Oh. Who's, who's pink? Who's all pink? I, I'm no pink. Hat. Yep, I'm all pink. No hat. All right. I see you guys over there. I'm pink with a white hat. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, the walls are coming in. The walls are... Ah! No, we should probably kind of try to work together, or no? No, it's, oh, they're not coming back as fast now. Oh! Ah, oh, come on! Sorry, y'all, to be quiet. This is like very serious gaming right now. Ah, oh, I'm done. I'm oh, eliminated. Oh, what's that? Oh, no! <laughs> My right one. Good job, Edward. Good job, Edward. That was fun. I'm actually moving my face over here. So, let me tell you about the prank that I got. So, when we were going to our first team, or second team retreat, we went up to the Pacific Northwest, uh, and I was on another trip, so I had to join late, and my flight got delayed, I was getting in really late, and, uh, I come into my room that night, check in, 
and there are fake spiders, fake mice all around my room. There were candy bars in the toilet that made it look like somebody used the toilet. Um, and I, 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 I kid you not, like literally every drawer I opened had a fake mouse in it. Every blanket I pulled up had a fake mouse underneath or a spider. And then, uh, so it was just hilarious. And I'm like freaking out. Um, so everyone had a good laugh about that. Jessica did some really other cool pranks. Like she, uh, in her bed, she like built this. Edward, uh, ready up. Made it look like a fake body and had a clown head on it just laying in the bed. Uh huh. And so people were walking by like stopping, staring in her window, freaking out. Uh, and then the best one was she enlisted another one of the staff to have one final prank on me. And somehow between the hotel room and the airplane and when I got home, they opened up my suitcase and put in little fake bed bugs. So that when I got home, opened up my suitcase, like bed bugs shot out everywhere. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot. It was a lot. That was a lot. Um, all right. Let's see here. I had a question mm -hmm. and I lost it. It was about your work. Sweet. How big is your staff? Uh, we're up to 11 staff now. Yeah, we have uh, everyone's full time folks across the country. We have uh, one person in Oregon, one person in Wisconsin. I'm in South Dakota. Well, two of us in South Dakota. And I, one in North Dakota and the rest in Minnesota. How many alumni are there of the Rebuilders, rebuilders program? We, we were just looking at the other day, 208 Native Nation Rebuilders. Which is amazing, because I think when we started there was... Seven. I'm in the lead! Are you going? I'm in the lead! I'm in the lead. Oh, I'm gonna get. Oh, I got crushed. I got crushed. Oh, I got crushed again. If I don't qualify, or qualify, hopefully I can spectate yours. I'm in the lead. Go down. Nobody can touch me. All right, I think I'm gonna qualify. I'm in the lead still. Oh, I had to jump there. What the hell? First place, suckers. Well done. My Dakota brother. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, sorry, and your question was, did I get it? Did I answer it? Yeah, yeah, you answered it. Okay. That's a lot of uh, rebuilders, man. Yeah, it's really cool. We're, uh... The hope is to eventually right, create a Native Nation rebuilding movement in the region with uh, the rebuilders, our, our, our ears to the ground, our connection to community, um, you know, hopefully that start helping the tribes effectuate some strong change. Yeah. Do you see, have you, what are, um, I guess, examples of success Right on. that you've seen so far? from your from uh, native governance center's work oh great question well i think i mean we've had rebuilders go on to win elected leadership so uh if i'm off the top of my head like ryman lebeau my, from shine river is the chairman of the trust was. yep grace grace was and she was the treasurer for lower sioux uh jamie azure in turtle mountain is a rebuilder and is a chairman um and i think one of the coolest things we're seeing now is with one of our projects we just started this last year and piloted. It's our tribal finance pilot project where we're working with three different nations, helping them improve their tribal finance systems. And the, the cross collaboration that we're getting amongst them is just amazing. Like they're learning from each other, they're learning with each other. Um, and so that's been great. That's awesome. So uh, who are you, I guess, uh, that's a weird word, but like the experts, who are you working with to help create that? Uh, that's kind of the cool thing about the organization is we've really been intentional about, um, we are the experts. Like we've, we've tried to, yeah. um, foster, uh, our, st create a staff that can conceptualize, design, and implement our own programs. 
where we've learned from are like from the great folks at the Native Nations Institute, the Harvard Project on American Indian Economic Development, who is now the oh. Harvard Project on Indigenous Governance and Development. And then uh, for the Tribal Finance Project in particular, we're partnering with Clifton Larson Allen, who is a large accounting and logistics firm based in the Twin Cities. And then some folks from the University of Minnesota Humphrey School of Public Policy. And then we have four mentors that are working with our tribes. Daniel Lem, who's the CFO for um, the Blandon Foundation. Joe Naquinabe, who is the uh, commissioner for economic development for the Mille Lacs Band. We have Crystal Jesheni, who is the CFO, I think, at her tribe. And then the last one is, how come I'm forgetting the last one? Oh, my how, goodness. How do you remember all these names, dog? It's, it's, that's, that's it's crazy. a gift. It's a gift, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That, that's really good to hear. I, I think I, of course, like the times where we go outside for ex outside experts to help us is, I think, in the past. I think it is. We have more than enough qualified people to 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 build these programs, and mm -hmm. it's really great to see you guys are doing that. That was the cool thing about partnering with the Native Nations Institute out of the University of Arizona, starting off early. Like they were Native folks leading Native work, and just we learned so much from them early on. It was so it was a really strong partnership. Um, yeah. But yeah, now's our time, for sure. Is there a way to duck, I wonder? Is there a way to duck? No, I think it's all timing. Oh, you can dive. Oh, jump. Yeah. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Da, da, da. Okay, Wayne. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, tell me one of your insecurities. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Great question. I like one. Uh, one of my biggest insecurities is not having my college degree. Whoa, whoa, you don't have a college degree? I don't have a college degree. I uh, went to undergrad at the University of Morris, Minnesota. Spent uh, four years there, but then uh, life got in front of school, and so I actually moved back home to take over the family's ranch when my brother got elected to tribal council. And so I'm about a semester short from my bachelor's degree. Wayne, I applaud you, sir. <laughs> I freaking love you. <coughs> I don't have my degree. Right on. I went to, I went to UC Berkeley, went in for three, some, uh, three years there, transferred home. Went back home, lived out back home for a bit, and then transferred to the University of Minnesota. Got into the program there. I was actually going to study to become to put the language teacher in the yeah. language apprenticeship program. Yep. And life happened, and yep. I ended up moving up to Sisseton, and we never, I never finished. So I'm, I'm about, I think, 20 credits short, 21 credits, right? From graduating, I never finished. Um, of course, I want to encourage everybody to, you know, yeah, go to school to, to finish. But at the same time, I think we're breaking down the stigma of like what does success mean, right? I agree. Yep. And we're also breaking down. I think I'm a full advocate for us to encourage our folks to just explore the world. It doesn't have to be through college. Like folks want to go into trade schools or anything. I think that's, I think that's the shift that's happened. When I was, when I was just a young. Literally, cool. <coughs> a young, a young one. You know, the whole thing was college or like the idea of success was college or not. You know, if you don't yep. go to college, you're you're worthless. And I think we're changing that. Oh, oh, snap! Last one standing. Okay. Yep. Oh, I failed that one. Okay. It's uh, yeah. It's I think that's my biggest insecurity by far. Yeah, but, I, but, that makes that makes sense. But I feel like, do you, how have you, how have you uh, managed that? I guess so. I'm I'm a lifelong learner, right? Like that's one of the things that, uh, and I took some crazy routes to my learning, where like to learn about tribal governance and sovereignty is literally about sitting at the table, hearing my dad, who was a former tribal leader, talk about these issues with other tribal leaders that would come visit him. It was you know listening to my elders. Get and off so, me! Get uh, off me! 
So it's Is really that you? Yeah, it's me and you, yeah. I've really taken a non traditional path to some of my education, I think. Oh, I'm way at the bottom. No, Damn no. Damn it. Um, that no, that's really good. I, and also, I think. Yeah, I look. I just, I'm just. I'm really. I'm really proud of you, man. And Thanks. proud of the, what you've been able to accomplish, and uh, the work that you're doing to not only, you know, be a good man, be a good person, but also to like this greater journey to build stronger, you know, leaders. Yep. So. Well, I appreciate that. And right back, right back at you, man. It's one of those things that. Like I said, well, I'm insecure oh, about it. Hold on, this is, the, this is the part of the stream where two indigenous men just, you know, give each other compliments. So, go, let's go for it. Uh, I think your hair is phenomenal. I love your acting. You are probably top ten funniest people in the world to me. Ah. Uh, for sure. Thank you. Um, I am trying to survive here. No! All right, on, what, level, okay. what, color, what color are you guys on? I'm on yellow, right above blue. I'm on, I'm on yellow as well. I'm just running around the outside. Face oh, there off. you are. I'm Face running off. away from you. Face I'm running off. away from you. Face off. Face off. Why are you faster than me? That's not fair. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to cut you off. Oh, you did too. Why were you faster than me? That's not fair. Because, uh... I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I, uh, no, no, get away from me, <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> Is it just oh, you yeah, and me? Yeah. yeah, I think so. You oh, all right, there it is. No, Congratu oh, wait. Congratulations. No. Oh, you still no, going? So somebody's still alive. Oh, it's you and Ed I'm Edward. He's what? above you. He's way above you. Look at him. What the heck? That's my son. Ah, oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Where the heck were you? He was still way high. Man. Um, no, I, um... I'm, I'm just... I'm super grateful. I'm mm -hmm. super grateful to be where I'm at right now. And to be doing what I'm doing. Look, a kid has come a long way. Most folks remember may remember the work I did with the 1491s, and that was just mm -hmm. five of us. And we we're just we were just wanting to make videos on YouTube that just made us laugh. Yep. Really. And I can't be more proud of how far we've come. Look, man, we were making shitty videos in our backyards, and now we're making TV. Yeah, movies. Like yeah. movies and TV right now. Like I uh, I was in Oklahoma a couple of weeks ago, and we were filming Reservation Dogs season three, and my brother Sterling Harjo, he asked me like, "Hey man, you know, bring some tobacco, bring bring your pipe. Let's let's uh, let's let's pray." Mm -hmm. Um, and so it was me, him, my brother Megazi, Bobby, uh, Ryan wasn't there, but that was the core group of us, and we just. We were on set. We were filming the show, and we broke off to ourselves just so we can go pray together as ah. brothers. And it was just a moment of us like, dude, let's just can we, let's just take this in. Like, we're, we've come a long way, man. And uh, it just felt great. And also, I was saying, like, two, this is two men um, complimenting <laughs> each other yeah. in jest. But at the same time, we have to be able to create space as men where we pr we create pos positive feedback in the work that we do. Because sometimes, I, and this maybe I'm going into a question, but it's also yeah. a reflection of my life, is I've found myself at times feeling very lonely in yep. this work that I do. Because I wish there was more brothers with me. Yeah. Because I have so many brothers and relatives who are struggling in different ways, you know, and um, or just, you know, I don't know, at a different place. And I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense there. It does, well, that's the thing, right? I think one of the things, at least I've noticed in my life, man, is, is there's a, a lack of oftentimes for young men in our community of good role models. Yeah. And so when we're out there trying to be that steady person for people, not only 
not only for ourselves, but for everybody else. No. It's it's one of the things that um, I don't think can can be undersold. It's and I, I mean, like, I, so I totally agree with you. I think, um, where was I going with that? Uh, totally agree with you. I think we as brothers, as young men out there trying to be successful, we need to find a way not only to stick together and, and share with each other and support each other, but how do we pass that on to the next generation? Yep. My, my, um, my son who's here actually, do you mind me if I tell him the story about your, the questions you've asked me the past few months? You sure? So, thank you. I have your consent. All right. um, my my son. Wait, wait, real quick disclaimer: Native Governance Center is not liable for any secrets that Dallas Gold Tooth shares about his okay. family. Please go ahead. <laughs> so, my son asked me. My son is coming. Uh, is coming into age as a young man, and um, there's a challenge. We live, we live in an urban community that doesn't have a lot of Native folks, and the I guess I guess I feel I'm challenged as a as a father because my son doesn't have other uncles. <coughs> around him, yep. Right. And he asked me. He's been asking me some deep, freaking amazing questions that I love. And the a couple months ago, we were just sitting in the car, and we he asked me, Dad, what is masculinity? Oh, great and question. I was like, I was like, I was like, damn, dude, that's like. That's a great question. That is a hard question, but yeah, I want to do my best to. Uh... Oh, I'm a lose. I'm a lose. I'm a lose. Okay, I, I want to do my best to rise to the occasion to answer as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there was another question. I'm a, I'll, I'll try my best to answer and tell you what, how I answered it. But yeah. um, there was another question. I'm gonna take your chance here. I'm going through the center, you guys. No. Oh! Um, oh, I, I dropped. I'm not gonna get this one. I'm not going to get. It. There was another question he asked that blew my mind, and he was just like, "Dad, I am almost 14 years old. Yeah. What is something that I should know as a young man that I don't know? Okay. And that is a brilliant question. You know, asking what is it that I don't know. And, and acknowledging, you know, the, ah, I'm, try, I'm trying to focus here. I want to qualify. Oh, no! No! no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh! This one's hard. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. You can do it. Oh, we have to wait. We have to wait. I'm going. I'm going. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Come on, sweet baby white buffalo. You got it, you got it, you got it. Go, go, go. Yes! Nice. <laughs> Alright, I made it. I made it. Um, well, so the, my son's been asking these really great questions, but it's also been challenging me as a man, as a dad, to be like, okay, what are the things I can share with him? Yeah. That I didn't get, like that, that one shared with me. Like, what are the teachings and understandings? Um, and you know, very much what I said. Okay, there's this conversation around masculinity, is is real, but there's also this other conversation that a lot of young men are hearing, that is that is framed as if masculinity is under attack. Men are being under attack. We yeah. as men are are who we are is lesser than and right i've tried to do my best to say no actually what that is that's that is a um that is a way of thinking that is in defense of a society that places women in a subordinate role to men and that we have to understand that historically for generations uh the lives of women, the considerations of women, the, the well-being of women has has been seen as lesser than to mm -hmm. us men. And that this current work to have a conversation around what is masculinity and the work to um, confront toxic masculinity really is about bringing us back into balance 
to where both there's a balance between uh, femininity and masculinity and, and the, the sacred manifestations of those. Yeah. So, like, I think that's where we're at, and I really want to, like, I want to feed into that. And that's why, like, and I, I'm not trying to, like, 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 jam it in there, but, like, the, the <laughs> with Native governance and, yeah. like, what I, what I want Native leaders to understand is that the work to be a leader, the work that it, uh, this is just my own thinking on this is yeah it is all of course it's all connected but we cannot improve as nations until we start ha having hard questions about why are we the way we are why am i as an individual the way i am and how does that contribute to the dysfunction as society yep well and yeah sorry and a lot of that we get by reconnecting right so Mm -hmm. the the thing about us as a people in particular right and i think i can speak with some expertise for lakota for our people in particular right is we were we had very strong matriarchs in our families right the women owned the homes there was clear um understanding of the importance of women in our society and something that that's been really stripped away from us with the aspect yep. of colonization and so as we're returning to those learning and those old ways uh it's it's gonna make us a stronger stronger males in our societies yeah absolutely oh, i've never done this game this is a this is fun all right all right oh okay we, got, we just got to stay on this right i think so oh don't hit me dude It's it's like essential that you have to be able to like swivel the camera yep. back and forth. Oh, let go! <laughs> oh, I think it's gonna come down to just us, brothers. It looks like it. Oh, there's a little penguin dude there. Is it getting faster? Is that just it me? Is. No, it's getting faster. Oh. Faster uh, and things are further apart. Uh, oh, who fell? Oh, ever did. Oh my goodness. Sorry, y'all. We're going to be quiet because we're like really concentrating. My tongue's going to start sticking out here in a minute. Oh, I fell. Damn it. Get him, Dallas. You got this. I got this. I got this. Oh! You got it, you got it, you got it. That guy's just standing still. He's kind of like, not cheating, but... Oh, he's going to try to push you. Oh, he's trying. What a jerk. I don't know how to push people. Yeah! You get him? <laughs> Winner! Right on. What's up? Um... Winner! Chicken dinner! Congratulations. No, alright, so, um, let's see here. Let's see here. Is there a, what other questions you got, man? Oh, uh, hang on. Um, let's see. What's one thing folks you... at home? This is this going to be a heavy one. What one? What What's one thing folks at home can do to help strengthen sovereignty? Oh, um... It, it, it is cliche it is like um you know all the work look you my my what do I, I always hear in sweat sweat lodge all the time it's like you're no good unless you're taking your if uh in many ways your prayers for others is hampered by your inability to also pray for yourself hmm. which is a teaching of like to, but make sure you put time into yourself that you you um create the space to allow yourself to grow yep. to allow yourself to be challenged and to overcome those challenges so really like the the journey to to sovereignty starts with a, a sense of individual sovereignty yeah. right which is sometimes the most scariest thing and, and i think a lot of our folks are so used to giving, so used to just giving of themselves. Like, you know, and then it becomes dysfunction until it's because they become, 
you know, uh, codependent or there's a whole aspect of like, my needs don't matter, mm -hmm. but you know what the people matter, but the, they always, the family matters, but I don't. And you guys, we got to cut that shit out. Like that's just unhealthy thinking that creates a space where you're allowing yourself to burn out. And, um, so the, the journey does self, start with self and I strongly encourage everybody and all, all folks, one tip for that journey is to get into therapy, especially men. Yep. I am a strong proponent of, of, of men and indigenous men in particular to go to therapy. And when I say therapy, it's also a matter of to talk to somebody, to get out of your own mind, your insecurities, your fears, or in your joys. That's the one thing, right. like me and my brothers have a, um, ah, we basically call it like a bitch circle, right? So we can, we talk about stuff that bother us, whether it's work or family or what have you, but we complain to each other so we don't take it out on other folks. Yeah. And I think that's some of the most valuable relationships I've had is being able to um, talk with my brothers when things are troubling me or giving me a hard time so that I can work through them in a good way. Yeah. And so. Absolutely. But I totally get the needing to get on this the, um, therapy kick for sure. Yeah. And really, it is about that. Um, I, like, what the advantage of. Like. The. Whoa! Dude, I just lucked out on that one. Um, the. Where that comes from is just like. Like understanding why you do the things you do right that is oh. really what comes up. and to put it in a spiritual like freaking lingo here because i am a, i am a dakota person that practice our ceremonial ways is you know all action <laughs> all action is informed uh we like to say all of our actions are informed by prayer but before uh, what, what comes, what does it, what informs that prayer? And that is intention. Yeah. And if you're not clear about the intention of your prayers, then your actions may be misguided or your actions may not be as potent as you may want them to be. And so I, I'm like, to get to the place of intention really means asking yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I, you know, in Sundance, Sundancers are Sundancing, and those that have been around Sundance ceremonies, you get to a point where you're like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> <laughs> why did I choose to do this? Um, but that's a that's the most important question. Why are you here? Right. And sit in that moment. And I, I think that that's what I get out of therapy is it gets like, why do I respond to this? Yeah, why if someone says something to me and I react to it, what where's that coming from? And it, it just makes me more accountable to to my to my actions. And I think as as tribal leaders, that's that's an immense gift to 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 have is to be able to be like, why are we the way we are, and what is our system of accountability? I agree. I think it's one of those things that there's such a stigma attached to trying to get the mental health you mental health support you need that one of the bravest things you can do is tell people about your problems yeah what is it? are we just staying in the circle that's all we gotta do yeah you're supposed to stay in there to, to get points I think oh zone time I'm sure we gotta get to like 100% yeah I'm at 97 how about you I'm at 65 I don't think I'm gonna make it brother. you can do this you can do this 87, 80, 91, 92, 90, oh, oh! No! Get there, get there, get there. Oh, go the other way. There you go. Got it, you got it. Nice. Did you get it? <coughs> bop, 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 bop. Doo, doo. Okay, uh, what was your, who was your first animated crush? Ooh, great question. My first animated crush would have had to have been God, 
Golly. Let's go with um, Shira. <laughs> That's a good one. I. I think mine as it was April from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yep, yep, for sure. Yeah. I got so another question back for you. How did you start doing comedy or what, what got you into comedy? Um, it was so I've always been wait, keep your tail. So are we playing like tag? Oh it must be. Okay. Hold on, I gotta think on this one. Oh you got grab tails, you can press I don't know how to grab stuff. That's the bad thing. Uh, oh, I don't know how to do it on, uh... on a controller. Yeah. I'm chasing somebody right now. I got him. I got him. Ah, oh, damn it! I I lost. Okay. So April O'Neil, huh? April O'Neil. Um. This one is taking way more concentration. Okay. So, um, oh, I'm gonna stay down. I'm gonna go I'm gonna stay in here. So, what got me into comedy is I've always been a jokester. I've always, I've always enjoyed making people laugh. I remember distinctly in fifth grade, sixth grade, we were playing volleyball. Yep. And, um, there was the ball was going out of bounds, and I per, intention. I in my mind, I knew if oh. I dramatic, if I dramatically go for this ball, and I wipe out against the wall, people are gonna laugh, and I went for it. So it was. I was. I was looking for attention. I liked. You know, yeah. I wanted to get attention. <laughs> so I always liked making people laugh. And then you know, some years ago, my brother and I, my brother Mega Z, my older brother, um, we started making videos together on yeah. YouTube post them on Facebook and um, people liked them and then I met Sterling Hart the other 1491s we just kept making videos on YouTube and just kept doing it and, and I, it was around that same time I started organizing with the Indigenous Environmental Network yep. and that journey of being an organizer is so intense and so serious that I needed an outlet. I needed somewhere else to put all this energy and this creativity. And so I put that into comedy and put that into sketch shows and doing live performances. Right on. How about then to build from that? It's, you talked about your brother, the comedy you've done. Who's the funniest person you know? Um, I'd say my mom. Really? My, my mom is really really funny and it's really amazing to watch like just to to she just yeah she's really hilarious and not intentionally hilarious like she's just a really <laughs> yeah. funny just natural person right on how about you for me the funniest person i know let's see Like mean funny would be my cousin Galen. He used to tease me mercilessly growing up. And it was one of those things where I was picked on a lot as a kid growing up. I was the chairman's kid. I was always kind of chubby. I had big ears and cross eyes. And he would burn me so bad, but he would never let anybody else do it. Right? So if yeah. someone else was making fun of me, they'd have to answer to him. So he's, but he was just hilarious because he's, my family is a family of smart asses. Right, and the sentiment behind that is we'd rather be smart asses than dumb asses. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, are you out? I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I'm watching you. Or I'm watching Ed, Edward. Now I'm watching you. Um, and so, like the oh, it's just down to you two, I think. He's just coming for. He's coming for. Yeah, me. He he is, away, get away from me. <laughs> and so, uh, my family's hilarious. Like, and then we have a morbid sense of humor, right? So, like, when there's funerals or whatever, we usually can be heard cracking jokes and. Try to make yourself yeah. try to make each other laugh so you're not crying. Yeah. Oh, how did he do that? Oh. I, I don't know how he got away there. He should have been. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right on. You're good, son, but you're not that good. <laughs> we got about we got about nine minutes left in our scheduled screen uh, stream, okay. Dallas. But so one of the things I wanted to make sure. Uh, 
What are some upcoming projects or initiatives you'd like to tell us about? Uh, that you can. Yeah. How about we turn it off? Do you want to just, we just want to talk? Yeah, we could do that. Right. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I think Come I can. On. Hold on here. I'm going to try to get out of here. For folks on my stream, I'm going to just like make the screen bigger for Dallas and I. So give me a second while I do that so you can see our faces better. All right. I am. Um, this is uh, Hey, I want to give a shout out to our uh, folks that are watching on my stream. Thank you for hanging in there. Um, appreciate you. This is, my, this is like my second stream on my Twitch. I want to get better at it. I don't have a lot of time. I'm a very kind of a busy person. Um, I like to game. I love gaming, but I just don't have a lot of time. So that's why I don't, I like Elden Rings. I, I mm -hmm. like like uh, uh, all the Zelda games. I like, you know, Fallout, like these games that take a lot of time, but I don't have the time. So it's more or less these games where I can jump in and out yep. that really I, I play these days. But um, yeah, so at, that, that's my little spiel to those who are watching and thank you for everyone for watching. Um, and Wayne, yeah, whose headdress is that? That's my dad. So uh, my dad was a two-time chairman of our tribe, and back in the 1970s, when he got his uh, when he was elected chairman the first time, uh, some a group of elders from the west end of our reservation uh, honored him for with that. So yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Do you do you wear it? No, nope, no, no. I truly believe it's one of those things where. Uh, don't, don't, I tried it on. Don't get me wrong. I tried it on. <laughs> but, uh, oh, but um, it's one of those things that I, I really believe, like, you have to earn the right to wear that, right? Like, it's... Yeah. And so... I, I feel that. Um, what was your question? Did you have another question? Uh, yeah. We just... Uh, what are some upcoming projects or initiatives you want to let us know about? Ooh, I guess I'm, I'm trying to build up a my Twitch stream. I'm trying to build that up. I'm trying to figure out my angle, right? What, what kind of games I'm going to do? What kind of format do I like? I'm trying to develop some podcasts right now. I have a couple of ideas out there, pitching them to see if I can get some podcasts uh, going. And um, there's a podcast idea that I have, actually, Wayne. Mm -hmm. I'd love to talk to you, get some name, put some names in the hat, but I want to do a comedy interview podcast about the culture of organizing. Hell and yeah. so it's, it's a comedy, like, you I mean, just being comedy funny, but t talking to people who do organizing, who do community work about the nature of that work and also get to know them as people. Because I think oftentimes people see activists and organizers as serious people, but I, I think I want to humanize it, but also give a chance for people to learn how they can become community game changers, right? Um, and I don't want it to be a place of like, okay, Wayne, let's talk about the good things you're doing and what's this thing. Like, you know what I mean? I always want to have really informal conversation, but to to dive into some good topics, right? L example is like, what? Oh, what is that? Is that? Oh, is that? That's my Twitch. Um, what? What is it like? to do community organizing in Eagle Butte, South right. Dakota. Yeah. And and what is that? How is that different than Minneapolis, right? And and what does it take to build community in those spaces? The challenges, like the literally physical challenges that people have to deal with. And, I, and I'm specifically mentioning Shine River Sioux, Sioux Nation because of, not only because of Wayne is there, but because I actually really love Shine River. Um, but that's a really difficult place. Like what, how many, like the communities are so far apart. So I, yeah. anyways, I'm, I'm just tell, bringing this up to say like, these are some topics that I want to actually explore potentially through a comedy podcast. Well, I think uh, for what it's worth, you've blessed us by joining us on this. If I could ever be a guest on your podcast to talk exactly about organizing on Shine River, I'd love to do that. It'd be great. Uh, I, I think some parting thoughts of mine, which I, it's become a mantra of mine of sorts is that, I don't like the word after, uh, activist be like, I don't like to be identified as an activist in my mm -hmm. introduction. 
nothing against it. There's nothing against activists of sorts. But I think that we have to cultivate a, a, sen a better understanding about what is activists or who are, what does it mean to be an activist? And what is that in relationship to being an organizer? Yep. I identify as an organizer. And, and just just to break it down quickly, as my as this is my own interpretation, is an activist. We need activists. Activists are people who you can depend on to show up. Yep. Something is happening. You need people there. You need bodies in the room. You need folks uh, in the streets. You need people to show up. These are the folks you can depend on. They're there and they understand you. They support you. They got your back. They are your families. They are your brothers. They are your aunties and uncles. Or they're just random strangers. We need them in all steps, all stages of, of building power. An organizer can be an activist and oftentimes is an activist, but an organizer is somebody who builds the conditions to bring people together, yep. who creates those opportunities for us to confront injustice, but also to create opportunities for us to build together, to build power. And Indian country, I think we have more than enough activists, but we need more organizers. That's wow. where that's where we are at. 100% agree. It's one of those things. So in, in our work, we teach about uh, Native Nation rebuilding principles, right? One of them is around leadership, right? And, and a leader, you need leaders in community who can understand and identify the change that needs to happen, but they also are the ones that then work with community to help bring them through to that change, right? So uh -huh. it's, it, it, it's we, you're right, we need people that will stand on the rooftops and shout and, and have our voice be heard, but we need the folks that are putting the people on the rooftop, that are making sure the megaphones get lined up, that are understanding we have to coordinate and feed people and all that stuff. And so I 100% agree. I think it's organizing is going to be a key component to future success for our people, because again, that's the other thing, like we're, we're small but mighty. And so we have to be better than we have to be more well organized, we have to be sound in our principles, we have to be strong with our strategy, so that we can really effectuate change for our people. I absolutely. I, I am so appreciative of the Nat the, that Native Governance Center exists, that it is doing great work. But it also, what I really do appreciate is that you're location based. You're specific to the region. Mm -hmm. Like you could easily be like, all right, we're gonna, like, I, oh, everybody, come on, everybody, all oh, Indian country, and, they, and I'm sure you do that because folks come and they ask you for advice and support. But I love that. The work is grounded in the communities of your region and that there's people that are feeding that. And I'm sure there's ambitions to grow and I'm sure there's other things that are happening. But, you know, it really does come with uh, it really does come down to having um, a land based approach yep. to your work. 100%. Is absolutely essential. And so Native Governance Center, I think, is just uh, a beacon of hope. And, and I think that. Um, you guys are just good people doing good work, and, and I'm really am proud of that labor that you all have all put into, and also, and then creating like a, uh, um, what is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Common language, right? Yeah, yep. You're 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 having all these like leaders. You're you're working with all these people, but then you're also giving them like a, a glossary that everyone understands. That's essential, right? If you're playing a video game, we were playing. We were just playing Apex Legend, and my right. son, my son's like, he's cracked, he's cracked, he's cracked. I had to learn what that meant, but once we got on the same page about what the terminology we're using, boom, we can be a much more effective team. And that is why we play video games. Awesome. Oh, I just got to announce a real quick shout out. So as we're wrapping up, beautiful. I can't add any more to that. My my nephew Tucker Craft from South Dakota State. It looks like he just got drafted to the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Oh. Wait, oh. I know, right? So. Oh. Which well, is good job. Amazing. Congratulations, Tucker is a, a young man who grew up on the Shine River Reservation, his whole life, non-native kid, but from a really strong family who uh, he represents all of our people here very well. And then um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in on Instagram, on my Facebook. When we do this in the future, we'll make sure we have that transition so we, folks can watch at Native Gov. Uh, Dallas, thank you for sharing uh, us on your Twitch with your community. Uh, hope to do this again in the near future. Uh, please like and share. Check out um, uh, at Native Gov and also look to find our donation link. We have our donation link right on our website. If you're interested in seeing this type of programming, if you're interested in the work we're doing, we need your support. So please be don't be afraid to donate to Native Governance Center. With that, uh, Absolutely. 
Thank you, my brother. We really appreciate hey, it. Shout out to all the folks on the back end helping us out. All the yep. staff to help. Thank you very much for all your work. Thank you, Cree, Stephanie, Lawrence, particularly the team that's worked with me on this, and the whole Native Governance Center staff for for allowing me to have free time to be able to do this. So awesome. Love you. Love you, brother. Peace out.